In the last video, we had started with sulfonamides, correct? We saw that sulfonamides are the first micro antimicrobial agents to be discovered. And um, currently, they are not used much except, except in the combination with trimethoprim. Okay, so this video is about the combination actually. But however, let us first review what we have seen for sulfonamides. Sulfonamides are um, basically, they are bacteriostatic agents. Okay. How they work, mechanism of action, M -A -M -O -A, mechanism of action, basically bacteria synthesizes their own folic acid. Okay, bacteria can synthesize their own folic acid. And humans, we cannot synthesize folic acid. So what happens, the bacteria, how it synthesizes folic acid, it takes pteridine, parba and glutamic acid and it joins them together to make folic acid. Now, this sulfonamide is so similar to PABA in its structure. Look at the structure here. So, this structure is very similar to PABA. So, what happens? The sulfonamide will combine with pteridine and it will give a defective dihydropteroic acid. So, now what happens? It, the bacteria cannot make folic acid. Now, as the bacteria cannot make fresh folic acid, it will not be able to synthesize purines and pyrimidines. So, there can be no DNA, no replication. Now, no DNA copies, no replication. Uh, this what will make it bacteriostatic. No DNA copies, no replication. Okay. Is this clear? So, we saw the uh, that it is bacteriostatic and it interferes in the intermediary metabolism. That is folic acid synthesis. So, sulfonamides currently they are only being used with trimethoprim as a combination. Now, this video is about this combination. Cotrimoxazole, correct? We are trying to uh, study cotrimoxazole. Now, this uh, is a supra-additive combination. That is, cotrimoxazole is more powerful than individual sulfamethoxazole and individual trimethoprim. So, cotrimoxazole this video is about cotrimoxazole. Let me put the slide as cotrimoxazole. So now, cotrimoxazole is a fixed dose combination of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. So, this sulfamethoxazole is a sulfonamide and trimethoprim is a diaminopyrimidine. Diaminopyrimidine. Okay. Both of these are bacteriostatic. Sulfamethoxazole is bacteriostatic. Trimethoprim is bacteriostatic. Together, they are going to give you a bactericidal product, cotrimoxazole. Now, this cotrimoxazole is a supra-additive synergism of, um, it's an example for synergism or supra-additive effect. The combination has more powerful, more power, okay, it has more effect than the individual effect of sulfamethoxazole and individual effect of trimethoprim put together. Okay. So, the combination is more powerful than individuals put together. Okay. So, did you understand or should I explain again? I will try to explain again. Effect of A plus B is greater than effect of A plus effect of B. So, individual effect of A plus individual effect of B is going to be less and effect of A plus B when given together, that effect is more. So, this is a supra-additive uh, supra effect, synergism, correct? This is clear. So, what did I tell you? What did we tell you? We told you that cotrimoxazole is bactericidal, whereas the constituents both are bacteriostatic. This is a diagram uh, found from internet where they have shown cotrimoxazole 400 slash 80. Each tablet contains sulfamethoxazole 400 mg, trimethoprim 80 mg. Right? This is exactly what we are trying to say. Try to recollect what 
you have learned so far cotrimoxazole is a combination of sulfa methoxazole and trimethoprim sulfa methoxazole is a sulfonamide trimethoprim is a di diamino pyrimidine it's a supra additive effect and uh, cotrimoxazole is bactericidal whereas both the constituents are bacteriostatic now let us move on to the mechanism of action of cotrimoxazole see the mechanism of action is actually sequential block of folate metabolism so in exam if they ask you sequential block you will have to explain this see so far you have seen that pteridine plus parba plus glutamic acid gives you folate this is folate synthesis right folate synthase now sulfonamide was affecting this process so the folate synthesis was not happening now this trimethoprim is going to inhibit dihydrofolate reductase which was converting dihydrofolate to tetrahydrofolate now as tetrahydrofolate which is the active form cannot be synthesized the bacteria will not be able to have the folic acid which is active it does not have active form of folic acid so it cannot synthesize purines pyrimidines it cannot replicate its dna so basically the uh, trimethoprim also has a bacteriostatic effect however when both of them are combined together both of the bacteriostatic together they become bactericidal because of the sequential block okay so this is how you will explain the sequential block in the exam when they ask okay so i think for now this much is enough there is a lot more we want to cover like why they chose sulfa methoxazole from all the available sulfonamides okay then uh, what is the ratio of these two what is the combination we should give then spectrum of action of cotrimoxazole all this we have to read uses of cotrimoxazole resistance adverse effects contraindications all these all these things have to be covered so let's uh, meet in the next video